brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Similar to the vault on Eos. Tell me, what are you seeing? If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, I've got goosebumps. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However, they're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down. For all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Sorry to interrupt. This isn't your concern. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her, a resistance commander named Venterev. One of your own gave her to the Archon? No wonder you hushed it up. This isn't about hiding the truth. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. 
We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. When you have a moment, we should talk. Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej. Chief Voneron. A Voneron? That's very... I don't know what. Ah. Linguistics. Not my strength. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply... stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. wants to look at Jal's scans. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless.
I thought I hated the Kep before. Then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <sighs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Aksul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant, or anything, except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous. And he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... <sighs> I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarul who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jal faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. 
At least now we can prepare to fight the cat. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more trouble.